from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live. We're continuing our Hot Spots Week with Apricot Lane Boutique. Joining me now is Morgan and Stacy. So how are we doing today? We're good. Doing how are you? Great. I'm doing great also. Um, so Keith, first tell me how Apricot Lane got started. Well, it started, I was actually a classroom teacher for many years and um, one right before I turned 50 I felt the Lord tell me it was time to do something different which I always felt like the classroom was my mission field and so um, I knew when it when he had said it's time to move to something different we uh, my husband came across Apricot Lane we started praying about it for months and months and months and all the dots started lining up and um, we opened the store yes ma'am so what's y'all's ideal customer I would say our ideal customer is really any woman that wants to come in and, and feel confident. Um, we are a mother-daughter store, so that is really important for us, for all women to feel included. Um, my grandma is 83 and she she shops in our store, so. Yeah, we always say Morgan tries to pick out items for her age group. I try to pick out items for my age group. That way everybody can come in and find something. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. So how are y'all kind of keeping up with the latest trends? Well, um, we have a great headquarters that will send us uh, videos uh, when spring, it, spring comes around or fall comes around. It has all the latest trends. It has all the latest colors for that upcoming season. Um, generally, when you go to market, uh, of course, all the vendors are up, up to, to date, date with yeah. the, the latest trends. So they have it out for you and um, we just, you know, go with that. So you kind of educate yourself yes. a little bit. Yes, yes. So how many items come with each order? We only get six pieces. So um, we usually get two smalls, two mediums, two larges. Sometimes it's one extra small, um, two mediums, two larges, one large, one extra large. It just kind of depends on the vendor. So. Um, but usually there's only six, so if you see something, if we post something online, like this dress is in the store, so is this jumper, there's only six of them. So once they're gone, they, we don't bring them back into the store. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. So you know, what does it mean to you to be helping each customer get what, they, what they're looking for? I think, it, I love to help a woman come in and find, we love to grab pieces, um, even if they don't think they will like it, mm -hmm. we'll pull it off. The girls are really good about pulling pieces off the yeah. floor and they'll say, oh, I wouldn't normally try this on, but we push them out of their comfort zone just a little bit and they end up, you know, loving it. Mm -hmm. Like right when somebody comes in, I'm like, what are you looking for? They're like, a dress. And I'll say, what's your size? And then I just start pulling. You start picking <laughs> yeah. stuff because I mean, I want to help them, you know, feel confident, find a fun outfit, so. And I heard that y'all kind of give back to the For the Silent organization. Just mm -hmm. what does that mean to you to be able to still give back? I, I think it's very important. Uh, For the Silent, if anyone doesn't know, is an organization here in East Texas that helps uh, young girls who have been in human trafficking. Um, and so once a year we like to do um, a fundraiser for them to give back and then on a monthly basis our store personally gives them a donation. Yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. Link, that you like to add anything else? Um, we do have a few give back brands in our store as well. Um, so like she was saying about For the Silent, um, we do have another um, there's another organization that we sell the bracelets. Yeah. The girls in Haiti actually make them, and they were um, they were rescued from human trafficking. And this is actually how they make their livelihood. It helps them uh, get put back into so their society. Um, and where it's th called Noble Venture. Mm -hmm. um, and they yeah they make bracelets. Um, and the proceeds go back to helping those girls. Mm -hmm. So, so you know what does that you know mean to you to just be able to keep helping people in different avenues? I, I love it because as a Christian, I think we're called to help others. And um, I think that if you're able to, that you should. And, mm -hmm. and we, I think, um, found something that human trafficking is a, is a big thing in our society today. And I think if we can help people become more aware of it, um, that's a good thing for us and that's for everyone. Yes, ma'am, you got that servant's heart right mm -hmm. there. Yes. Well, thank y'all so much for coming in. If you like more information on this hotspot, you can go to the website right here on your screen.